Welcome to the training video for Alter Care. While Alter Care involves many things, this video will provide you with the basic instructions for setting up communion here at Emmanuel. All right, Alter Prep. First thing you want to do is get the two types of grape juice out of the refrigerator. And in the freezer, you are going to have bags of bread. And depending on what you put in the bread, you're going to pull out all of the bread or just the gluten-free. For now, we'll pull it all out. And then, you are going to need a pitcher, fish plate, two split chalices, this picture. And the split chalices, you're going to put two different kinds of grape juice. Don't fill it about halfway. You're going to put extra grape juice in the pitcher. Grape juice is set up. down below, you're going to take out the candlesticks, you're going to take out the two baskets that look like that, and you're going to find four of these. You are going to need your basket with napkins. going to need a bowl for the baptismal font. You'll want to check with pastor to see if you're going to use the big bowl or the little silver bowl. Okay. I'm going to take out a handful of the napkins. You've got one napkin that goes, that's going to go on the altar. You're going to have one each on the baskets with the bread. So you want to make sure you know which is the gluten-free bread and the bag is the food label. One side of the basket says gluten-free and you'll put the, that bread there. The other side is going to be the gluten bread. Depending on whether someone is bringing it or not, you either get it out of the freezer or somebody will bring it. Today we've got someone coming with it, so I'm only going to put on that left side. And you're going to have a cover on each of the baskets. And you're going to have a fourth cover that you're going to use to cover the chalices. And there is a cutting board and there's a knife if you need to slice up the bread when it gets broad into smaller pieces. The other thing you're going to check is in this drawer, this middle drawer, you're going to look to see if there are loose leaf notebooks. And if they're in there, they will go out in front for a pastor's chair and the assistant's chair. And I'll show you that when we go outside. That's it for in here.
All right, when we get to the end of the service, you want to bring everything in that you had put out, and the candles go away in this cupboard. And the chalices get washed. You're going to break in the bowl from the communion or from the uh, baptismal font and just pour that water out. And that goes down here in the cupboard. Napkins go back away in the cupboard. You'll fold up all the cloths, they go in. The bread, the leftover bread, there are our Ziploc baggies. You're going to put the bread away, keeping the gluten-free and the gluten-full separated. Once all that is put away, that goes in the freezer. You wipe off the chalices. And they get put away right up here, just on this second shelf. You have the pitcher goes back up here. The baskets, once they're empty, shake the crumbs out into the garbage, fold up the linens, and everything gets set right there. And you are done.